As you all know, I'm a never toaster. As you all know, I'm already picking up the lingo down here. <laughs> Been down here for about three hours and already got the accent going. Welcome to the Brooklyn Bagel Blog. I'm the Bagel Borg, a finely tuned, highly calibrated bagel eating machine here to review every bagel in the universe. And today, we are at Proper Bagel in Nashville, Tennessee. Music City, baby. Now the South, not really known for their bagels. Uh, so, very curious to see what this place is gonna be all about, but apparently it's a couple of New York transplants. It is hot out here. High noon hasn't hit yet, and I'm already sweating. We came to Proper Bagel, supposedly the number one spot in the area. There's kind of a row of a bunch of chic little looking eateries right in a row here. We got Mexican, we got coffee shops, we got bagels, we got a little bit of, little bit of a world tour here. The restaurant itself, minimalist, uh, kind of hipster vibe, nice and spacious. Tons of cream cheese selection, very, very peculiar flavors. Flavors that I haven't even seen in New York. They hand make, kettle boil all of their bagels from scratch fresh daily. They fly their fish in from Brooklyn. Let's get down to the meat of it. Oh, thank you, thank you. We go around and we review every bagel shop from Brooklyn. Oh yeah, just, just bagels. Pardon us, we're gonna get back to the review. Went with the litmus test, everything bagel, scallion cream cheese, which is how we judge every single bagel shop. They didn't have just plain scallion, it was scallion dill cream cheese. So, gonna have to knock them a few percentage points for that. Okay, so it's a little compact bagel here. Uh, nice toppings on one side. And they do have the double-sided toppings. Wow, rarely seen outside of New York. Always appreciated. Went with the, the scallion dill cream cheese and it seems pretty plentiful. There's a lot of cream cheese on the underbelly of this bagel right here, which I'm pretty pleased about. I don't know how often they get uh, no toast, but as you all know, I'm a never toaster. As you all know, I'm already picking up the lingo down here. <laughs> Been down here for about three hours and already got the accent going. The bagel's got a nice weight to it. Really crunchy on, look, you can even hear the crunch. I'm gonna put this up to the microphone. You can hear the crunch on the bagel on the underside. A nice blistery, craggy crust. Good smell. Knock me down and call me salad because this bagel does not. I would have never in a million years guessed that this bagel is from Nashville, Tennessee. This thing seems like it's imported straight from Brooklyn. This thing is a heavy hitter. This is high up on the list. This is a high performer right here. It's amazing. The texture of the bagel is, is almost perfect. It had the crunchy exterior with the fluffy inside. The cream cheese wasn't quite as flavorful as I was hoping for or expecting, especially considering it's scallion dill. Let me calculate the score. Well, this is, I, I can't believe I'm doing this, but this bagel is gonna get a 4.47379. That is an outrageously high score for any bagel shop and particularly any bagel shop outside of Brooklyn. I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. This might be one of the best bagels in America outside of New York. I'm ready to put it on that level of performance. It's insane, but this bagel is amazing. This kicks ass of like a ton of shops that we've been to in New York. So proper bagel. This is a proper bagel. Excellent job. Boom, you're done. We'll see you next time. And that is how the bagel is boiled.